Welcome to my mathematics demo. This time I'll take you through uh, mathematics generator, worksheet generator. It's by Microsoft and you can download the mathematic Microsoft's mathematics worksheet generator from Microsoft's website or from the YouTube link below in the info section. Let's click on the math worksheet generator once installed. This is what we have here. Basically, you got options: file to close the application, edit, undo, redo, select all, help again, help math worksheet generator, help options. It's a comprehensive help guide on how to use the generator. Basically, it's pretty good in in that it generates addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, fractions, decimals, factoring, linear equations and quadratic equations. It generates a worksheet. Now, trig and calculus problems like integrals and summations are not supported in this version. Basically what it does is it generates a set of sums for a worksheet. In term, if you want to use a worksheet in a classroom it will auto generate a set of sums whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication or fractions or quadratic equations and it will s generate a set of solutions with the equations as well so you don't have to sit there and work the solutions out and it gen the solutions and the worksheet it generates is in Microsoft Office Word in Word 2000 and seven and Word 2003. If you do not have Word 2007, you don't. You do not need to worry. Apparently, it does seem to generate the documents in HTML format, which you can use to print off and hand out as a worksheet. Furthermore, the mathematical characters and functions that it uses are listed here in the help section, uh, such as negative pi. You would enter minus pi and pi you'd have to spell pi again pi again positive pi is pi fractions you would define as 1 over 4 1 divided by 4 multiply star sign square root square sqrtn exponent x to the power n and the other functions that it does support are absolute value combinations cosine there's quite a few more functions factorial double factorial this is how you would you, uh, write it in the environment itself uh, which I'll demonstrate later on uh, geometric mean greatest common factor intersection of sets least common multiple logical evaluation maximum and minim maximum value mean median minimum value mode natural logarithm, permutations, product, product of a sequence or series, raised to the power, remainder, round, sine, slope, sort, square root, standard deviation, summation, sum of a series, tangent, union of sets, variance, and that's about all but it is quite comprehensive in that the fun you would not have to sit there generating sums by yourself manually and it is we'll put some of these to test now just close this help and this is basically the environment you would type your sum in here if you wanted to and what it does when you do type a sum in for example uh, 234 say plus 123 and here you would define number of problems that you need to generate which is 15 so it will generate 15 sums with 15 solutions and the, all, all the sums will be addition sums as defined in this form here now all I need to do is create and this will go away create a word document for me and Bring the word document to the front. There we go. Student can put his name, his or her name, at the top of the document and work these sums out here. 
1 to 15 sums. If you move further down, we have an answer sheet which are the solutions, 15 solutions here to the 15 problems above. And it's pretty useful, very useful if you if you don't have the time to generate sums yourself. And the other things you can do here, what it does, the positive aspect of this is that when you've, when you've generated a correct sum, it will add it to the list of all the sums that you've generated in the past and it saves that sum. When you close this math generator down and bring it back up, you will still see that sum that you've generated previously. Because it generates these sums randomly, you will see different sums every time. Even though if I were to select that again from the list and regenerate, it will it will not be the same set of sums, it will be a different set of sums. There we go. As we can see, they, these are different set of sums there. And the solutions again to match the sums up above. Let's close that. Do I want to save? No. So let's let's take a look what, what else we can do. I've 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 used this quite a bit now and you can see the sort of sums that I've generated from this drop down list recently. Uh, multitude of multiplication sums where they to to find a prime number from a set of numbers. Uh, division sums. I have a decimal subtraction sum, fractional fractions. We can, what we can do is solve equations as well, and find the greatest common factor (GCF). Again, it's basically how we want to use it. We can use this to factorize quadratic equations and find solutions. It's just going away and generating. 15 sums here for us on Word. What we have is factorize 10x squared plus 19x plus 9. And that is our, these are our 15 questions above. And below, we have the solutions to these questions here. So you can use this as a worksheet to give out to students for homework or basically get them to do these sums in the, in the classroom as opposed to having work them, work them out yourselves. Here you've got linear simultaneous equations solving linear simultaneous equations for x and y creating a worksheet. Now. Oops. It's taking a bit of bit of time. Here we go. And almost complete. We have two sets of equations, both linear equations, and the solutions for the equations are x equals negative 5, y equals 9, and so on. For all 15 questions. Close that. Do you want to say no? And I'll close that. The other, th other functionality, let's try one of the st standard functions that it does provide for us to use. Say, for example, find the geometric mean. No. Let's have a look at something that we can use in a classroom environment. Ah, mean. Finding the mean, median, and mode. That's the, uh, it's a common, common example. The, let me just take another look at the. Uh, notation for mean, median, and mode. Find the mean of these values. Find the mean. The mean function returns the mean of the data set. The mean is computed by adding all the numbers in the set and then dividing by the size of the set. The max function returns the largest element of the data set. So let's have a look at the mean. Let's minimize that. 
let's type in mean and values 5 comma 3 comma 8 comma 4 I'm just going to use approximately five or six set of values. Seven. So let's see what it does. And generate 15 random sums. And we have another sum here. Five, one, nine, eight, seven, and seven. Finding the means of these values we have a total of 37 over 6 so we have 6 values in the first set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yeah. basically it has given it in fractional form and you can if you wanted to simplify that if you if you need to or just find it, find a method to do that using a calculator but it does give it in fractional form in most cases it is pretty useful rather than having to work things out yourself but sometimes you know you, you may have to convert the fractional form to a decimal format you can also find the median ME median just change the value to that Lower the number of sums to five. Again, five five questions on the worksheet and five solutions. Middle value nine. Arranged in ascending order, middle value would be nine. Eight. Oh, misread that. Eight. That's good. <laughs> Middle value is eight if it's arranged in ascending order. Five, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Middle value would be eight. Okay. It's pretty good. Let's close that. Hope you found the demo useful. Don't forget to download your very own copy, copy of Math Worksheet Generator from my YouTube channel info section below. Okay, bye.